everyone, I'm Kelly with The Suburban Soapbox and today we are making fajita chicken quesadillas. These quesadillas are so simple, but they're loaded with pure fajita flavoring. Let's get started. So to make your quesadillas, you're obviously going to need some tortillas, and I have flour tortillas here. These are the fajita size flour tortillas, and they actually make like a really nice compact quesadilla. So that's why I use this size. You can get bigger if you have a bigger pan or if that's what you wanna use, but this is what I like. I also have pre-cooked shredded chicken. Now I made this chicken in my Instant Pot. You can also use a rotisserie chicken, which I have definitely done that multiple times. Just use the chicken breast and shred it up and you're good to go. I also have red bell pepper, green bell pepper, some diced red onion, a little bit of jalapeno, garlic, cheese. I have both Colby Jack cheese and cheddar cheese. Fajita seasoning, which you can use. My homemade fajita seasoning you can find on the suburbansoapbox.com or you can use your favorite fajita seasoning. And then a little bit of canola oil. This is just to make sure that your quesadillas don't stick to the pan. To make the quesadillas, I'm going to first saute the vegetables in a skillet. And I'm gonna use a little bit of canola oil in the pan. My pan's already searing hot. And add some of the peppers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of my peppers to the pan and the onion. I'm just gonna stir all that together. And you just cook it until it's slightly softened. I like my vegetables to have a little bit of bite to them. I don't want them to be like soggy and like really super soft in the quesadilla. So it gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of firmness into that vegetable. And then once the vegetables start to soften a little bit, I'm gonna add the garlic and the jalapeno. So I just add like about a half a jalapeno here, because if you have kids, they're not gonna want a spicy quesadilla, or maybe they do. And now I'm gonna add the garlic. So this is two cloves of garlic, and just know that you're mixing this into several quesadillas, so you're not using garlic, two cloves of garlic in one quesadilla. So our vegetables are softened. I'm gonna take those out of the pan. All right, so we're gonna return the pan to the heat, and now we're gonna add our chicken to the pan. So you wanna add all of your chicken to the skillet. So to the chicken, we're gonna add some fajita seasoning. And I use about two to three tablespoons of the fajita seasoning. And again, you can use your favorite packaged fajita seasoning or you can use my homemade fajita seasoning. This that I'm using today is from the package. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you just need to cheat a little bit. We're just gonna mix that together. And you really just wanna heat your chicken through a little bit. You don't really need to cook it again because it's already cooked. That's what makes this come together so easily. I actually love to make quesadillas for game day, like if we have people over to watch football. It's awesome because you can make them and pop them in the oven, put them on a baking sheet, and just keep them warm until you're ready to serve. Okay, you just wanna make sure that all of the fajita seasoning is incorporated into all the chicken. Now we're gonna transfer the chicken to a plate and I have a paper towel to wipe out the frying pan. So, we will look, move the chicken. And I like to use one pan for obvious reasons. I just hate dishes so much, so we're just gonna wipe this out with a paper towel and then cook our quesadillas. Okay, so now the best part. We're gonna take one of our tortillas and take the canola oil, and we're just gonna lightly brush the surface of the tortilla with the canola oil. 
And this is so it doesn't stick to the pan and it'll get nice and brown and crispy. And you don't want to overdo it, just make sure you get the whole surface. We're just going to add that to the pan and you'll hear it start to sizzle. And then we're going to take some of the chicken and the key here is to not overfill the quesadilla. Take some vegetables, spread them on top. And make sure that you have the whole surface of the half side of your quesadilla covered. And then we're gonna take some of the Colby Jack cheese. I like the meltability of a Colby Jack and the sharpness of a cheddar. I'm gonna take the half side, the empty half side, and fold it over on the top. And just press it down a little bit, and then you're gonna take another tortilla, and we're gonna put it on the other side. So this is when you have to work a little faster. I could never work in a commercial kitchen because I move like a snail. So quesadillas, they move quickly, and sometimes I fail because I don't cook fast enough. So put that in there and a little bit of chicken. You can use your hands, just make sure they're clean. I'm just cooking for my family here so it doesn't matter. And a bit of cheese. And a little bit of cheddar. And we'll close the top. And now we're gonna put the lid on just to melt it for a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll flip them. So now we're gonna flip our quesadillas. They should be pretty melted by now. And you wanna flip them carefully and you want the open side up when you flip them over. And you can see they're nice and toasty. If you flip them the other way, all your filling is gonna fall out. So now our quesadillas are done. They're crispy, crunchy, awesome. I'm just gonna put them here on this board and finish up the rest. So all of our quesadillas are finished. We'll just move them to a platter. And if you have a vegetarian family member or friend, you can certainly omit the chicken. I did that in one of these, so I just have like a veggie and cheese quesadilla. So now to serve, I'm just going to cut my quesadillas in half. You have nice triangles. And then I like to add a little bit of cilantro and chopped green onions. And the green onion, the salsa, and the sour cream, the cilantro, it's all optional. You don't have to add it. I just like to have options for people to top their quesadilla. All right, and that's it. So now I'm gonna take a bite. And I do like sour cream on my quesadilla, so I'm just gonna put a little dollop right here on the corner and dip in my salsa and take a bite. Mm. So good. The chicken's perfectly seasoned. The vegetables are crisp. It's so, so cheesy. So much flavor. This is the perfect quesadilla and super, super fast and simple to make. So great for game day. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.